Welcome to Adventures with Kramer. And so today's video, what we're going to be able to try and test is we're going to be setting pouring a bunch of water on our Starlink satellite to be able to see how it affects its speeds. One thing that I have noticed here, and I've been doing some speed tests ahead of time, is that it's slowed down to about 36 to 50 megabits per second. It's much slower than what I've had for the past couple weeks. I know last week though, they did unlock, like Elon ended up giving to where there's a thousand more people on the better than nothing beta. And so I'm not sure if, whether the network is getting slowed down some with the existing satellites or if it's just, if they're actually doing that on purpose, slowing down the speeds in order to be able to try and make it to where everybody has still a good experience. And so we'll get this. I have some like watering cans trying to pour on it. We'll run some speed tests at the same time. We have a nice, beautiful, clear sky, so there should be nothing causing it to be able to actually slow down at all. Let's just go ahead and check this out. We're gonna be starting off with using fast.com, so the main speed test that they actually use in the Starlink app. I had just run a speed test here. I wasn't standing in front of the way and was able to get a 36 megabit per second, megabit per second download, a 14 megabit per second upload with a unloaded latency of 49 milliseconds and a loaded latency of 71. So the latency is doing not too bad. The upload has stayed consistent and I have nothing else on the network right now. And so that's where I'm just, I'm curious to see what's happening. Let's go ahead and take a test here and then I will see what's happening. So let me refresh the page, start getting some water going. So that slowed it down to, I'm hitting about 21. There's a lot of water on there. It feeds off nicely. The latency did increase a lot. It jumped all the way up to a loaded latency of 149 milliseconds. But then one thing I have been noticing on some of this here, the upload does not vary as much. And so almost done with the speed test here. So we ended up getting an upload of 11 megabits per second. We're gonna try refilling the water again, running it test a couple more times here see how it affects it see if we get a consistent result and kind of go from there okay so what I've done is to try and help make this consistent just because the speeds have been fluctuating some is I went and I wiped off any of the water that was actually left on the actual Starlink satellite I then went back through ran the speed test again speeds have increased here recently and so it's gone from what it was before prior um, when there was like no water on at all, it's up to 52 megabits per second with, uh, for a download and upload of 18 megabits per second. The unloaded latency is 18 milliseconds with a loaded latency of 107. So what I'm going to try and do is be able to help again, pour the water on and see what's happening. So let's go ahead and get started here. So I am starting to see a little bit of a drop. A bunch of water. So I mean, yeah, it's a lot of water that I'm dropping onto here. So that took it from, cause it did start out at closer to the 50 megabits per second and went down to 40. And then eventually we ended up dropping all the way down to a 23 megabits per second. Ideally, are you ever gonna see this much rain, but 23 megabits per second, you could still stream a 4K movie. Um, the unload latency is 36 milliseconds with a loaded of 133. Still waiting on the upload to finish. So we're getting a bunch of water on here. Upload had been going at about like an 11. Upload slowed all the way down to a 7.3. So definitely seeing there is an effect happening. This is a massive amount of rain in order for this to happen. I mean, like a torrential downpour, nothing that I really have to worry about. In Washington, where I live, there's not a whole lot of rain. So just something to help keep in mind. Okay, so what you can see here is it does beat up the water really nice, um, even after trying to wipe it off there. It's not just like a, it's not like a gloss finish. There is that type of like weird texture to it. And then um, did end up seeing a lot of the actual slowdowns happening because of the water or fake rain happening on there. I'm looking forward to be able to see, we should be having some snow here in the next week, I'm trying to see how snow starts affecting it, try and load that up. 
goal is eventually if we get enough snow, I'm gonna try piling a whole bunch on there and then try and take and do some measurements and recording the temperatures and actually test to see how warm this really ends up getting with its whole little mode for heating up. I appreciate you watching the video. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button, comment down below, and subscribe. Peace.